Mark 1 is written about the early days of Jesus' ministry. Through this chapter, we are told of the healing power Jesus demonstrated to the people of the day. Verse 35 is our study for today. And just before verse 35 is the day prior. Jesus healed Peter's mother-in-law from a fever. And that evening, the crowd brought the sick people to be healed and demon-possessed people to be freed. Jesus performed these miracles and stayed in Peter's home that night. The next morning, Jesus arose. Verse 35, I want to read a couple of different versions to you. The New Living Translation says, Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up, went out to an isolated place to pray. The New King James Version says, Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. Then the NIV says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Can I encourage you to be in prayer? We take time to eat, to brush our teeth, to comb our hair, and to take a shower each day. Prayer should be just as important to our daily routine. While the things I mentioned earlier are very concrete things, we know when you don't brush your teeth, we know when you don't comb your hair, prayer does things in an unseen realm. Christ realized the importance of prayer. Sleep is a necessity of life. However, prayer is just as important to our daily lives. Christ arose before the sun came up. Not sure if he did this every day, but Mark lets us know that on this particular day, Jesus was missing from Peter's house. They were looking for him, and Peter found Christ. Christ had already planned out his day. He knew exactly what he needed to do that day. Church, prayer changes things. If you want to see the hand of God moving in your life, then pray.